Okay, hello guys, welcome back to another video. Like I said, uh, so this video is gonna be about the RTX voice uh, feature that NVIDIA just released. Just to give you a bit, of, a little bit of overview about this, um, a lot of people have been posting online and been posting videos about what is the, this new, uh, they call it magic, because it's uh, once you activate that, you, I'm pretty sure you saw in the other videos, and if not, you will see on this one, how could it mute uh, the noise around you and it just in it just pick your your voice? So it's a pretty good um, software, and I'm glad that finally Nvidia is bringing AI, uh, artificial intelligence, and deep learning into a final product. This is what's happening here. A lot of people do not understand this, but Nvidia has been working uh, very hard in the past uh, ten years on AI, and finally now they have the GPUs to perform inference in real time. So this GPU has been training in a lot, a lot of data from to synthesis high voice, and they combine all that data into the deep learning model that understand uh, how to cancel the noise behind behind you on the size and everywhere, and just pick up, pick up your voice. That's why this model and this model gets better and better and better over time. And that's how NVIDIA now is implementing into a software ready to go for you and I. So we can just download the software, activate it, and it works like people call it magic. But it's actually deep learning. So what we're going to do on this video here, we're going to go through the steps how to install it. I'm going to give you uh, the different links and everything will be linked down below. But the first thing I wanted to do here is to go to NVIDIA website. I'm going to show you the document where you can follow all the steps how to install it. It's pretty simple. Okay, without further ado, let's start with the video. So now here, so as you can see, I said before, you're going to find on the link below. The first thing is once you type this link, it's going to go step by step explaining to you what is an NVIDIA RTX voice setup guide. So the first thing you need to do is just to requirements, just read the requirement. You need to have NVIDIA driver 4.410.18 and then Windows 10. Okay, and here's the list of the apps uh, right now that support it. So as you can see, they have Zoom, they have uh, Discord, OBS, Streamlabs, Explic Broadcaster, Twitch. So any any platform that you actually use for streaming right now, it's fully support. And then we start with the guide. Pretty simple. We're gonna download the app. We already download. Once you click that, it will save it. And then we're gonna install it like any other uh, software from Nvidia. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so here now we're gonna select the input device. In this case, we're gonna select my microphone. It's gonna be my headset. So this one here. A microphone, then remove background noise, and it's going to automatically apply these things. So later like that, I don't recommend to use any for the output device, because in this case will be my headphones, or it could be your speakers. It's not something to actually need, because you're going to be talking about, you're going to be talking with the microphone, right? So after we click on that, we're just going to close it. So we're going to open the app. We already click on that, select the microphone speaker you want to use. Then configure your voice chat app a recording. So for example, we're gonna do it on OBS. And what we have to do is just go down. Then we're gonna go to settings. We're gonna go to microphone, and then we're gonna select NVIDIA RTX voice. Then monitor device, it's gonna be the RTX. So here, what we're gonna do actually is just changing the few values. Uh, instead of having before we had the microphone, now we're gonna select the new microphone, but with NVIDIA RTX voice. So we're going to go and do that on OBS and then we're going to come back with the video and we're going to show you footage with the RTX on and we RTX off. Again, okay, now we're going to try, this is with RTX on and uh, we're going to see how well it performs. Okay, I'm moving this thing on my side. As you can see, here's a lot of noise that usually you get on the microphone. It's metal thing, you know, trying to do all that. Let's move it over here. And we're talking about, um, you know, people talking to us and we're trying to stay the conversation. And this is making a lot of noise right now. Okay. Okay, that's one thing. Then we're going to clamp. And uh, yes, so we are trying to, let's say we're playing a game and we're streaming that game and people are uh, just clapping. And we're talking to our friends on Call of Duty, for example. Yeah, we hit it. Okay, okay. There we go. All right, so that was with RTX. So that was a test with RTX on. Now let's see with RTX off. And then we're gonna be talking to our audience. It could be streaming, it could be recording something that you have, and then somebody's making noise. Of course, it's not gonna be somebody making noise like this, but we just want to make sure uh, how this actually works. 
you do this a lot. And then you're going to have the keyboard here and the normal position and then something crazy like this. So we can have actually the difference. So as you can see here, RTX uh, voice on, with RTX voice on, uh, we're seeing an incredible performance and improvement compared with the normal um, noise cancellation things that we had before, filters. This thing is much better because you need to realize this is, is deep learning and it will get better, better, better with the years. So let me show you a few things here because Nvidia is not just working on RTX uh, just for the voice. They're also working for the lab, a lot of different packages that they are trying to bring these deep learning things into uh, are real applications. So let me show you a few things here. Uh, the first one, if you go to RTX Broadcast Engine Feedback, you realize that they are actually taking a lot of data. You can record your voice, you can record your background, and this will help them to get more data set in order to train these big models. For deep learning, the bigger the data, the better will be the result. Then as you can see here, you train the data, they explain everything, and they're working on RTX green screen. Actually, this is a very good uh, broadcast engine that they're going to implement in all the streaming labs, like Streamlabs, OBS, OBS, uh, Twitch, all the things. Uh, for example, me personally, right now, we're using a green screen back, uh, behind me, and it's taking a huge space uh, on my room, which is not that, that big. Okay, that was all for the video. That was all for today. Let me know in the comments if you if you like this video. Let me know if you like what Nvidia is bringing to the table. Now we are finally uh, seeing the utilization of the RTX Tensor Cores inside this video card, and it's and I think it's something that Nvidia is bringing to uh, everyone to jump in and get the Nvidia video card. Right now, I don't see AMD actually doing too many things about video card. Uh, they are very good on the CPU right now, but the GPU is getting as lower this time. Uh, so let me know in the comment below. Remember that we have a giveaway, giving away for the 500 subscribers. We're going to be doing really soon. And it's going to be for the RTX 2060 uh, video card, which is uh, perfect for all these new features. And with the new DLSS uh, 2.0, you increase uh, the performance with the same graphic card, which is really, really amazing. All right, that's all for the video of today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Remember, it's always free.